According to DistroWatch, the site that collects all the news from the Linux and alternative software world, there are about 900 GNU Linux distributions, of which about 270 are still active. This ever-increasing number of GNU Linux distributions is due precisely to the fact that their open-source code allows anyone to create software based on their own ideas, for example, including proprietary software, an automated or detailed installation program, exclusive applications for their own distribution, all to direct its creation towards a certain range of users and towards certain purposes of use which can vary from games or for daily use to professional use, with various pre-installed desktop environments such as KDE, XFCE, GNOME, E17, Deepin, that are all installable on every other distro. Despite this large number of GNU Linux distributions, the real difference is the way software packages are managed. Fortunately, the main distributions on which 85% of the others are based, are just five. Debian, Red Hat, Slackware, Gen2, and Arch. From here it is possible to deduce that by learning the management of the packages of one of them it will be possible to manage any derivative of the branch that we have decided to study. However, for every basic distro exists say an easier to use derivatives from where everyone can start without problems. Here, in detail are the five most important GNU Linux distributions and their most famous derivatives, in chronological order. Slackware, the dawn of the Linux world. Slackware, born in 1993 on the development of the Linux kernel, boasts the primacy of longevity in the world of GNU Linux distributions as the allow active, being the oldest. For Slackware the user must have total control of his machine, the format of the packages in Slackware and derivatives can be TXZ, TGZ, TBZ or TLZ, and everything is easily managed through intuitive PKG commands, such as install to install them, remove it to remove them and so on, or by using the latest Slack package manager. Debian, the universal operating system for any use. Debian was born in 1993 and is one of the oldest Linux distributions, famous for its stability, for which it is among the most used software on servers around the world. Debian supports over than 10 different architectures and have a great community of users and developers from all over the world. The Debian philosophy want to include only free software by default in the main repository. However, it is always possible to activate extra repositories in order to add more non-free software to the already existing 50,000 packages already available. More than 35% of all Linux distros are based on it, and for them all the package manager is apt and packages format is deb. Among the most famous and easy to use derivatives, here are listed my top 7. Ubuntu, by Canonical, released with various versions depending on the desktop environment, and on which are built many other Linux distros. Linux Mint, derived from both Debian and Ubuntu, it is configured to be easier to use than Ubuntu. MX Linux, incredibly easy to use with many dedicated and exclusive applications pre-installed and a big community. Zorin OS, with its Windows-style interface to made easier the passage of its users from Windows. Elementary OS, with its MacOS-style interface for MacOS users. Dolly Linux, a live CD distro for penetration testing and network security research, then it is not for common use. Nopix, a live DVD for educational purposes and data recovery, with all integrated drivers to make it working everywhere from a DVD or a USB stick. Red Hat, Linux for companies and new technologies. Red Hat was born in 1993 as an open source distribution. Today is known as Red Hat Enterprise Linux, or more briefly RIL. Fedora is the open source distribution where real softwares are tested before being released. Fedora has a reputation for focusing on innovation, immediately integrating new technologies and working closely with Linux communities. CentOS, the free and open source version of real, albeit with less updated software but it is ideal for anyone who wants to learn how to use Red Hat. 
For all these distributions, the currently default package manager is DNF, replacing YUM in the software package format is RPM. Jump 2, the school of Linux developers and enthusiasts. Jump 2, born in late 1999 with the name of Enoch and then changed its name in 2002 to that of the fastest penguin among swimmers. The name fits perfectly, since this distribution is structured for several architectures and guarantees each one a unique stability. If you thought that installing Slackware or Arch was difficult due to the software configurations, know that to install Gen2 you must build every single package and even the kernel. Gen2 is perfect for the machine on which it is installed. This distro is for real enthusiasts and for those who want everything perfect for its machine. But don't be afraid. The saw by Yon installer also includes all the proprietary drivers the user might need and a pre-installed graphics package manager. The package manager in Gen2 is Portage which is also the heart of the distribution and you can build the software from sources with it. Arch Linux, a distro that points to the future. Arch Linux, born in 2001 and strongly inspired by Slackware, is known to be among the lightest and most configurable Linux distributions. The software inside is always updated to the latest version and is one of the distros that has attracted more interest in recent years, thanks to the Arch User Repository AUR, in which are included always newer softwares, and the Package Manager Pacman, that adds simpler and faster any installation and configuration. After the installation that, like on Slackware, is totally from the command line, you will get a complete and always updated distribution, but that requires to be always updated to prevent conflicts with newer versions. Just for this is not easy to maintain a graphical derivative, and using a pure Arch Linux is the easier way to get a solid platform on your computer. The more important Arch-based distros are. Manjaro, which includes its own repositories inside and a Graphica installer that made everything easier. Anarchy, that offer themselves as simplified Arch installer, with a semi-graphical installer similar to the command line. Endeavor, that wants to be a fork of the old Antergos, the easier installer of Arch Linux. Ok, in summary, there are 5 main Linux distros generally all with a manual installer, and about 85% of all currently existing Linux distro have been built on them, which are largely easy to install and include an interface pre-installed graphics. To learn more about each of them a new user can simply start from the easiest of them to use. So, what want you do on your computer? There are distributions dedicated to your needs, which include pre-installed software for every need, from gaming to multimedia. Depending on the use, there is a Linux distribution from which you can start. Distrowatch.com is a website that publishes the latest news and ratings on the homepage based on the most visited distributions of the site. Distrodist.net instead allows you to test any distro directly from your browser, without having to install anything on your PC. I hope this video has been of great help to each of you. Make your own assessments. And good research. Thanks for your attention. See you next.